All right, howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to War Game Red Dragon with the very first campaign and also using the Ash and Shadows mod. This is gonna be the third and most likely the final video. Now you might be wondering like how an expert, I don't know if you can, obviously you can't see what I'm doing air quotes such as myself in War Game, that's supposed to be sarcastic. Uh, I did fall back, yes. If you didn't see the last episode, I suggest you do so because there was actually some interesting stuff in there. But basically, recoup real quick, or recap, I guess, is that I kind of misunderestimated and I didn't really want to fight MI-25s or these Beyond Gay, uh, very special forces with a couple of K-1s, which are sort of like, uh, they're like, well, they're like South Korean sort of Abramses, but not, not as cool, I suppose. So I fell back from Daegu, but then I would kind of really ruin my entire operation. So I fell back from Yu Chang and Yongjok as well to Busan or Busan. So that's why we are here. Now what we're gonna do is we're probably just gonna fight this battle outright. I think we're gonna fight this battle, try our best at, they only have like two CVs. So this should be relatively easy. Now I'm not gonna sit here and like CV snipe in a PVE game, but it would be interesting to see if we can knock some of our planes out the sky and perhaps artillery one of their CVs. Now, besides that, we also have the funny option of going for Sokcho, which I think we're going to do. So we're just going to push everyone forward onto Sokcho. And we are also going to, if I can select them, if I can select them, we are also going to grab the multi-roll with the amazing Super Hornets, because these guys are very strong. I think they normally get four Mavericks, but here they get six. So, yeah, they are very good. Now, I don't really have any points left to spend. I could technically get this artillery unit, but do I really need artillery? I mean, it would be funny. It would be fun to have some 203s. Maybe. I'm thinking about it, but I'm not thinking. I don't think we're going to do it. I think we're just going to hold our points. Preferably, by the end of this video, we have won potentially a total victory, but my goal is never to, like, rush these through, and I'm sure you can, you know, as they say in Minecraft, you could, I could have built that with one less redstone. That might be a, a, a very vague reference, but let's get into the Busan, the battle. Uh, we have to win this. We can't lose Busan or the campaign is over. Now, I'm not really too worried. I think we have a three to one advantage when it comes to points. Quickly set up our units and then we'll be right back. All right, a very basic defense. I think we're going to be focusing on the only two to three ways in. Now, we know they only have two CVs, so they can only lock down two of these three sectors. So whichever one they don't control i might push towards but i'm thinking i'm going to push towards two daegu anyway that will sort of split them up and then we can focus on taking one point capture that secure that focus on the other point and potentially win this in a 20 minutes maybe 20 minutes tops if we're being we're rushing but you know hopefully not losing too many guys in the process we do have a bunch of interesting stuff that we can call in, like these UDT seals with some very awesome equipment. And they're also coming in helicopters, which would make them uh, very useful on this map with a bunch of mounts. Like we can call units in and fly them over here, land them behind, and then attack from here or like in the forest. Whereas if you have to drive them, they have to drive all the way around first. Also, we have these, I'm not going to try to mispronounce these, the Toik Joint. Yeah, there we go. I'm not even going to try these guys. And they are also very well equipped and they also have the uh, ability to come via helicopter. So we're going to go ahead and start. I just have to con set these together, push up that way, disembark. As is tradition, we're going to just, uh, I guess, I don't know if these guys are probably not amphibious. So we're just going to move them all back move them back move them back i just don't really want to lose any units for no reason if i don't have to we'll put a recon helicopter over here we might also put a fiat combat to combine with a leclerc Kufra over here to cover this left approach and i mean we have this approach covered with a bunch of aa everywhere we have this mountain pass covered and a second actually we're going to call this helicopter cv and already I can see this being pretty quickly captured. And then uh, we're going to, I guess we'll focus on, okay, so we're basically confirming that they're over here. Doesn't mean that they can't spawn anything. 
in the two day good so basically you know like i don't have to have a cv in here i can still put units in there but i feel like the ai usually doesn't like doing that for some weird reason it does actually look like they're trying to be cheeky over here let's get some peace pheasants to just fly this way targeting is uh overrated i don't think we have to uh we are going to refer to these kf 16 c's as kfc 16s it's going to be uh, as is tradition so we're just going to get this peace pheasant out of there don't really we're getting so many freaking points right now this is actually insane and let's get one to counter this recon helicopter okay we actually do need to work, kind of worry read a little bit about this sort of tank formation over here they're sending artillery at me that way that's not going to be very great for them we're going to land this twin huey get them out of there i guess we'll deploy these tanks like along the road okay just oh okay there we go there we go there we go i should have called these guys in a long time ago okay come on uh that's unfortunate do we have any other jets that are air superiority fighters these peace bridges maybe I mean, these guys have good AA missiles. We'll actually get these Beyond Gaze. I don't know if they're going to be able... Okay, I need to get these KFC-16s out of here. Oh, he's going to survive to this silly SU-25K. Come on. Oh, that's a hit. No, that's, never mind. It's an SU-25K. Like, I don't know what you expected. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, that... Okay, we're going to reverse. We're just going to reverse. We're just going to reverse. I think we are going to instead get some K1s on this side of the river get this beyond gay out of there get this guy out of there right side this is what i was kind of worrying about but we are okay with the amount of tanks that we have over there although maybe we'll need to get them a k263 as well disembark that capture that area the leclerc has just been like reversing i guess that's not a bad idea we'll reverse them to there and the Surion is going to be where he likes to be which is above the water talked about that in the last video that's technically i think a french naval or well yeah naval helicopter and i think we're just going to get eight of these pips we'll back them up with two anti-air units and recon wise a single coup flag will probably do the job i mean we're getting a lot of points at any given moment so this should be nothing too crazy even this beyond gay with the uh aim nine x's should be absolutely there we go easy peasy Let's actually see if we can do something funny here and bomb right underneath with these JDAMs. I'm thinking it may actually damage, if not outright kill. I mean, those are 1,000 kilo, like 22-ish, 100 pounds. Oh, they hit. That's unfortunate. They hit, actually hit that uh, mountain pass. So we are I'm a little worried about this area. So what I think we're going to do instead is call in a recon oh6 to sort of hover above the water i'm not necessarily covering this bridge as well as i could or should but it is nothing really like that important i guess we'll just uh oh we got more planes coming in and this time i don't have any answers for them but actually i do i do i do i have aa back here this issue 25k oh my god rip peace pheasants okay unfortunate i'm actually kind of secretly thinking that i should put some aa up down here oh they're gonna no you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not planes planes peace bridges or beyond gaze beyond gaze are better anti-air wise against these su 25 ks i mean they're not like great for them but that should knock one out perfect i don't know if they can shoot this other guy down now he's gonna get away he's an issue 25 oh my god look at the turn what was that what's the turn rate on these guys does it not say here anymore oh that's a or is that a thing from still division 2 like what was that turn radius whoa can we it should what the heck was that that was insane like they did like a 180 that's like how i feel like in war thunder well that's why i don't really tar i don't really tend to play war thunder pvp or no, no i'm sitting on my ass i don't tend to play war thunder much at all because i always feel like the enemy planes somehow have an insane advantage it's probably just not true it's not there's probably no like actual reason to think that this is 25k is going to harass me until i oh actually no we have a i was going to say we have some tanks here or anti-air here oh here we go let's see if we can oh you're gonna come after my oh get out of here oh what we traded i'm hoping this pegasus can no we're just gonna let this stupid mig get out of there with that crap oh man that's unfortunate oh we got a helicopter here probably need to start defending this i mean i'm not really worried about this area i'm just getting k1a's but i don't really need them 
Uh, okay, this is annoying. I can't believe that those jets just did that to me. That was actually kind of toxic. I guess we're just going to fly over this MD-5000. That should knock him out. Kind of auto-aim the missile there. Okay, we're not going to auto-aim. Nope, we're getting you out of there. That's for sure. Oh, you're turning away. That's not good. Okay, we're just going to get three of these. Oh, we're losing all of our KFC-16s here. This is brutal. These uh, these MiGs are, are very good. I'm actually, like, impressed. Okay, we knocked one of them out, though. That's actually huge. Over here. Am I... Why are... Wait. Didn't I have a bunch of AA units? Oh, they drove up first. Oh, I just did. Wow, okay. Well, this is already the, the blunder episode, I guess. We can... Oof. Okay. Here, I was thinking this was going to be an easy-ish battle, but instead, I am, if anything, just throwing away my men. Um, I am being baited by MiGs. I've lost my KFC-16s, and I'm now down to these... Oh, I want to knock out that thing. I do not want that thing to open fire on me. Although, it would be nice if our K263 would just knock it out. I mean, it should be able to. Oh, it's also just got stunned. That's actually good. Okay, let's see if we can engage it with the... Oh, we're being migged. Okay, uh, he's also evac. It was actually evac Winchestering. Okay, well, whatever. We are getting baited. Yeah, this is all turned out quite bad. I actually am a little bit annoyed about myself. Uh, about this one. I feel like I could have done a better job. I probably should have protected my anti-air and my recon here. So instead they just ran into something. I don't know what killed them. They ran into something. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, it's a thousand percent my fault. That's for sure. Let's get a recon or a command tank and start securing that area here. Yeah, no. So I definitely, that was on me. That's definitely hundred thousand percent on me. So I lost uh, like a couple units here that I shouldn't have lost. But and at this point, I think we just Q move left, Q move right road. And we just uh, use these K2 pips. To advance and they are uh, their CV is running so we're gonna just use the units that are coming in right now and I think after we capture that I think we should do a massive like airborne invasion on the last point which could be interesting may not be the best but that might have been the CV was it I don't know if that was a CV or not oh it was it was a UAZ okay perfect okay let's clear this out there are some artillery and stuff back here, some infantry. We'll get these units to intershoot. Oh, wow, they have to take such a terrible route. That's a little frustrating. I feel like they should almost like go back. Like, hey, what if I call someone in here? Where do they even go? I like, call them like a recon, like here. Where do they spawn? I'm, I don't care what's happening up there. I want to see where they spawn. I feel like they probably spawn like right here. So it really doesn't matter if they go, well, I feel like they could go back. Well, maybe to go back would be is just as bad. Oh, they spawn over there. Wow, okay, that sucks. Well, I lost a K2 pip, but that's a terrible spawn. That explains a lot about why it's taking them so long. Okay, we found their fob. Oh, that's a lot of tanks. Um, They just went like, okay, they just, I need to be careful here. We are not going to be advancing the way I thought we were. We need to get some, like, fast air support, although these are just bombs and nothing else. They just spawned, like, nine... Those guys are way too agile, by the way. They just spawned a whole bunch of bomber or tanks. We did just destroy a couple of them. I think what we should do here is take it a little slower. And get my APCs unloaded, like, up in here, and then... Yeah, these pips are basically blind because I didn't send any recon. They're also smoking me from across the map. You know what? We're just going to do this thing right now. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we'll even call in some of these to escort them. I don't really care about if... I mean, they'll be fine. Look, this is going to spawn like a massive wave of helicopters over here for us. Oh, we're capturing supply trucks now. This is actually good. Okay, we're going to advance forward. That's our supply, well, that's their supply truck that they just killed. And we're going to get some K2s 
kind of randomly around here while we move up our CV. Okay, this is annoying. We'll need to deal with this. I'm actually like very unimpressed by myself. M most, I just totally lost kind of the plot there for a second and now I'm just annoyed at myself. I lost, I don't want to hit that mountaintop. Oh, they barely cleared that. There may or may not be some units over here. It'd be nice to capture this fob. Yeah, I'm a little, a little surprised about how easily I just lost a whole bunch of units over there, but hopefully we can make that up. We're gonna get all these helicopters forward. We're gonna like mas massive deploy them here. We're like a massive air assault. Maybe we'll get some of, oh, okay. We're just capturing trucks now. It doesn't really matter. Beyond gaze. I mean, we just have a full set of beyond gaze, but these should be targeting the tanks specifically. There we go. That's actually perfect. They're down. And that's going to be a stop so they can get resupplied by the fob. And we're about to capture this zone anyway. And now, uh oh. Okay, that's fine. They can target the other helicopters. This is what my bon beyond gaze are for. Okay, they're, they were, they just shot the plane down while they were extracting. Oh, that makes me so mad. Okay, whatever. Uh, we're going to deploy this whether or not it goes well. Get some Apache Guardians over here. Get the last couple of AHs. Get even these Sirions. I mean, maybe fall them back a little because they're, they're going to be like right on top of the spawn. And we're going to go for it. I think we're just going to absolutely go for it. We're going to Q move, capture this zone. Go after these helicopters that are like up here. Those are the scary ones that we want to deal with. And we're just going to deploy. I guess we should also probably get one of these helicopter ACV infantry to just, you know, insult to injury kind of deal. But we will have to maybe wait because we have to we have to deal with these uh, MI-24 somethings. I don't know exactly what they're called. There. Okay, we gotta knock these guys out because I mean that's what I guess the Apaches could be very useful with this. Also, I should I should mention these Apaches are Dutch. I've explained this already. They are um, they are not able to sometimes they're not able to like replace the like models of units in the game in this mod. So the models you get are models that already exist inside War Game. So there will never be like an F twenty two. Allegedly, people are working on it, but. I mean, this game is also very old, so I wouldn't be surprised if we sadly will never... Oh, these guys, guys have singers. That's good. I did not know that. Or Sam, I guess. They have some sort of anti-air. That's very good. I mean, this was just brutal. We're just bullying them now. We're disembarking all these units. We're going to get them to go there. Get them to go here. We're going to... Oh, there are... T oh, they're like in the tree line. What? They like somehow snuck in between us. What? How did they get over there? How are they literally over there? Weird. Okay. Anyway, we're going to push in here. Stop this from being captured. We're going to just fly around. Oh, these helicopters are not being chased down by a, a single MiG. Luckily, I should have some jets around. There we go. Come on. Oh, we get we did it. We shot them down again. I'm very impressed by how I'm not sure where do you, oh they're in this little town area here. But I think if we kill their other CV, this game is over either way. But I'm not really sure. This artillery was somewhere in here. That's where they were shooting from. We've already we've already killed their CV just now. Okay, not the best battle I've ever played. Yes, we killed four thousand. We lost two thousand though, which was way too much. Half of these K2 PIPs. Uh, shouldn't have lost this right here. So what happened is the K263s ran right into some Chamaho 214s. I think that's what happened at the um, when I send them off to the right flank. So it was a little awkward. And then their mix put pulled such a huge amount of kills out. I mean, I did. I only killed four of theirs, and I, I did kill three H25 Ks. But I mean, I've secured. Uh, Busan, I mean, these units are coming in. Yes, there are some units coming in. I'm not really too worried about that. We're going to have to fight over Sokcho. And if we can if we can fight this battle and if we can win, the campaign is over. And it'd be like the, you know, I think it's the fastest you can beat this campaign pretty much. I don't think you can beat, well, I'm wondering, can you beat it any faster? I don't know if you can. Maybe you can. 
Again, it's not like necessarily what I'm trying to do. We're going to set up our units and then we'll be right back. All right, so very basic. My goal is going to be to try to push across the open, get this town secured, capture Delta, which is going to have like a weird spot because you can't use the town to defend. I mean, yes, you could use the outskirts, but you can't use the... Because like the, the zone on the map is like weird. It's like it should be the town, I feel like. Then, I don't know if we're going to get to, to Ko Song or to Dong Hei, but capturing Delta would give us a bunch of extra points, which is always nice, because we do have a bunch of units to deploy, uh, but we don't have a lot of points at the moment. I have deployed all two of my M60s that were left after that debacle in the last video, but I did uh, put down both of my Comanches. We have a couple of Super Cobras, a couple of the Sea Cobras, so I'm feeling pretty confident, especially because with some Super Hornets, we should be pretty good. We're just going to advance these forward. I'm still playing, keep, uh, keep that in mind i'm playing on very slow just for the very beginning here so we can at least get our units deployed let's do the same thing here we're going to put these marines up there and then our SMA there we'll put these lvtps a little bit behind them these scouts probably on hold fire and i'm thinking i wish we had some of those fsv lavs but i think they all got killed okay so we could capture delta that would give us a plus 10 from a plus four would be a huge, huge difference. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna deploy four LVTPs or like one platoon of Marines on the left, one on the right, unload. We're just gonna Q move across. One thing I probably should have mentioned is that in Ash and Shadows, I'm pretty sure uh, 50 cals actually have one AP power. Whereas in vanilla, I don't think they do. So that makes a huge difference uh, fighting light vehicles specifically. If I'm not wrong, uh, and, and I haven't misremembered the extra like the one AP power is is a huge bonus for the 50 cal as a weapons platform in this game Now as you can see we can easily destroy the helicopters We got some super hornets which are going to be destroying stuff as they fly around with their six mavericks So we're just gonna let them fly around especially these corsoons are basically BMP ones I think they're either it's the North Korean designation or it's like the North Korean uh, like domestically built but either way they are very much BMP ones just they have a different name and I think we're gonna get this CV infantry out of here ASAP hopefully we can knock out some of these MD 5000s or MD 500 I keep calling them MD 5000 but I think they're actually called an MD 500 and D not 5000 so that's uh, something I probably should have paid a bit of. Oh, I just lost a Super Hornet. I just lost a Super Hornet. I'm not even sure what the hell killed it, but that's impressive. I didn't think I was going to lose. There's a, there's a CV right there. I'm not sure what killed it. I'm actually not going to lie. I have no clue what could have potentially killed that Super Hornet. So that's a little terrifying. I, thought, I didn't think they had crazy good AA. It could have just been a very lucky anti-air hit. Uh, of some of their infantry, so we're not really going to worry about it too much, to be honest. It would be nice to destroy these units that are sort of crawling in behind me, but let's get these two Comanches to deal with the MD500, because they're not at just... Crap, I just shot my cargo truck. The one thing that I did not want to lose right there. That's a little frustrating. They're just... We'll just fly our um, Comanches over here, deal with those guys, and then we're going to push up I guess this TACOM unit as we hopefully can deal with this MD500 we'll get a new truck get this Delta captured start getting a bunch of money and then this thing is gonna be dead in one and two and it's oh my god that's 840 mic mics look at that well that thing isn't gonna survive for very long Okay, well, let's knock out the helicopters behind us, I guess, if they're flying away from over here. Comanche, feel free to, you know. There we go, perfect. Okay, next. Don't really care about this infantry. So these things are like stealth because they actually don't have a gun in the game. So they, I don't think they can model the actual, these guns being fired. But you can see that they've already fired some, but they don't actually have the models. Like it doesn't show them firing, which is kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna actually reverse this tiny bit. Get these Comanches back to the fob. We're about to capture Delta, which would heavily increase our income. Hornet, go up, and we're gonna go through these ATSs. I don't think we really have to, but now we're gonna save some money. We're gonna go for a massive wave of attacks on the, 
I think we should go for a massive attack on two coast song. It doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, let's watch out here because we did lose one jet there earlier. I'm still not sure what happened to it, but... Okay, these ATSs are being destroyed pretty easily. I don't, oh, I lost one small. That's annoying. Okay. That's okay. We can just get him over there. And uh, a, let's actually just open fire with these scouts. I mean, what are they going to do? This B DTR should not survive. There we go. I was going to say that should not survive against a 25 mil. We'll probably get one cargo truck here to resupply any losses. And I think we're just going to... Eh, I don't wonder. I don't know. What should we do? Should we go for Dudong He? It kind of might be a better idea. So we'll actually deploy a platoon of Marines that way. Let our Comanches get all, you know, healed up and everything. Probably save some points. Probably get a couple of these Sea Cobras because they only cost 60 points. So we can get two or three to sort of support those Marines advance. And the Comanches are rearmed. Set them up over here. That's a lot of stuff coming in, actually. I don't know. We can maybe... Oh, there's a CV in there. I mean, the CVs are just rolling towards us. Like, it doesn't matter. But they're going to... Oh, let's focus their Corsoons. You can see in the, like, shadow, I guess, here, like, what the... Uh, what unit they are. And then it makes more sense, in my opinion, to go after the Corsoons, which are basically, you know, BMP1s. Because they do have a scary ATGM. I think we're going to re reverse these LBTPs a little bit. And we're actually going to grab another Super Hornet. Tr see if we can, like, not try to deal with some of more Corsoon. That's one. That's two. All right, he's down. B oh, we got a hit on that helicopter, but not a kill. That would have been too nice, though, I suppose. I need to uh, disembark sir, yes, sir. these two and mark them as, like, one. You can, it's annoying because you can only do it when they're like both not in a building. So I'm just trying to get them out of a building. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, mark them as one. Go over there. Okay, I need to be careful with these LVTPs. We can just rush them in there. Clearly, enemy has a lot of uh, firepower coming in now. So I think we just time to get some Sea Cobras. We did lose a couple of LVTPs right there. I mean, it just happens sometimes. Let's get this cargo truck back for now. We don't need to, like, really set it up. Comanches, deploy them on the village over here. Because we do need to lock this down. There's a lot more guys coming in than I thought. These LAVs are holding the line, though. And then I also have these two M60s. Although, maybe I'll rotate this one M60 to the right. Because it doesn't really need much cover over there. And instead, we'll move the Patriot to the middle here. In case they want to send more helicopters. The left is covered. I mean, we have a... We'll send a small team more to the left. Cover that better. Have the Sea Cobras show up here. Comanches, as you can see, they are shooting. But they're not actually shooting. It's like completely suppressed helicopter uh, machine guns. Get our LVTPs to move up. Ooh, those Corsoons is one elite. I guess they killed... I don't know what they killed, but they killed something, I guess. Or maybe they just killed more. I don't really care about those LVTPs because my goal isn't to... I don't intend to fight here for much longer. Like, I don't intend to fight here for more than just this one battle. So we can... Okay, this is actually huge. We're knocking these guys out real quick. Helicopter. Let's get uh, two of these Sea Cobras again. Okay, they are coming in, like, from behind us right now. So I got to be kind of careful with these TACOM. Okay, I got to be very careful with these TACOM. I don't want to lose them. These LVTPs should be able to destroy the, like, little two-man sniper teams, though. Oh, here we go. This should be good. There goes two BTRs at once. Maybe we'll need to deploy a helicopter to the left. Comanches are going back to heal and rearm. Or mostly rearm. I mean, we are very thinly spread out right now. I, I'm a very much aware of that. We should be winning the fight against these BTRs. Although we did lose one of our LVTPs, which is frustrating. We'll get them to fast deploy here. We'll get, I guess we'll probably fall these Marines back. These two Sea Cobras can cover that. Okay, there's a lot more guys here than I thought. Let's have fire open if we need to, but we're still holding the line here. But not by, not by as much as I would have liked. Okay, we just got ambushed, I think, and now we're in some trouble. That's a lot of Biongay. Yeah, they have really good anti-air or anti-tank. Okay, these Marines just got absolutely destroyed in the open. 
it is uh, a little unfortunate. Arctimus 1, get them in the building together. Yeah, these marine. Oh, they actually shot down my Super Cobra. God, these young are barely getting lost. Like, they're not. Oh, man. Okay, there's a lot more guys there than I thought. We need to kind of watch out a little bit better now. Get you to go back to base. Super Cobra and Super Cobra. Mark them to get them together. This sort of like front line isn't really holding. I guess I could try to get some LVTPs up here with Smogs. There's a lot more guys in here than I thought. Super Hornets are even taking some more rockets. Maybe it's a time for a good bombing run right here. There's a lot of infantry. There's like 130, 140 dudes. So why don't we bomb this? Marines will fall them back a little just to try to suck them more into the town, you know? That was a great bombing run. I mean, these Marines need to re retreat. I don't know if they can, though. If they can get out of there, that'd be nice. But I think these guys can run faster than we can. 25 versus 30, yeah. So elite infantry runs faster than shock. Shock runs faster than normal. Normal runs faster than militia. I think militia is like half the speed of, uh, of elite infantry. Okay, we're going to need to send these SMAs out there. At least our helicopter are all getting nice and supplied now. Did I lose a super... Oh, no. I was about to say. Okay, we are going to win... Ooh, okay. No, we are definitely going to win this one when it comes down to the... To the points, but I don't know if that's going to give me a victory or not. Let's focus on these guys right here. Oh, these Marines just got absolutely destroyed outside of the town. That's a shame. Trying to like combine them. There we go. Small fall back. This is like coming down to the wire. They're actually just like using unironically North Korean tactics to overwhelm my numbers, which is sadly working out for them. No, I don't think you have to leave. I don't think you have to leave either. Okay, now they're just leaving for no reason. This is a little frustrating. Oh wait, no, this is no. What? Where are you going? Oh, they just left for no reason. Okay, you are going to stay here. We are holding the line here, but barely. Okay. Oh, these Marines just got absolutely messed up. I need to get the last two logistics trucks over here. We are going to win this battle, but it may not be exactly what we need to be completely victorious. This actually turned out to be a little more difficult than I thought. Although we are, it looks like we have mostly defeated the enemy. Uh, numbers wise I mean they're really running low on numbers now it seems like but yeah they have just absolutely started running me down oh this M60 has to get out of here and this is kind of dangerous because they've like opened up a sort of a, a, a route on my flank I've lost that recon vehicle over here it's okay though I mean they have completely pushed into my flank here these Marines are down to like three men or four men per per oh it just lost a cargo truck really that's the one thing i need to keep okay let's get this cargo truck back here and like get it to resupply time to maybe get this L these L lvtps up into the battle try to you know use them as a fire support platform by now i don't know if we can easily get back in the front these guys maybe rotate more there i don't want them to be resupplied by the cargo truck but we do need... Okay, wow. That was, I think, instant. I don't think there was any time that it cost. <laughs> I think that was like... And it sucked dry. That's how fast it goes when there's like 17,000 squads that need attention. Oh, this is bad. We need to actually not be this close to these beyond gate. Oh, uh, let's get out of there. I don't know if we can drive them over here. I need to like bomb... I need to bomb this. Because, yeah, they just killed my LVTPs there. I need to bomb that with uh, some, like, I don't even know how many bombs these are carrying. Oh, they're carrying 500 kilogram bombs. That's actually not bad at all. That was good. We got one of those squads, but there's clearly more than just one, I think, in there. At least their cargo trucks aren't, like, targeted by the AI usually. Just like how I, my AI doesn't target uh, cargo and ammo trucks either. But in the end, that is, uh, yeah, not, not ideal. So we're going to win. If we're going to win easily is a different question. Let's watch the ammo on this thing. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, they have to replenish ammo, and they have to give, like, soldiers, like, replenish losses, and that goes very fast like that. 
I don't wonder if we can capture this back. We'll send the Marines forward, small forward, TACOM, or the, these Marines over here. Okay, we have spotted some Marine infantry. We can deal with them. It would have been nice. Let's just bomb like a random area back here and get another one of those tornadoes and bomb more and more areas here on the right side. TACOM needs to be careful here. There's no point in me losing you. Please. I said please. Go back. I shouldn't be losing you. Oh. Oh, we just took a bunch of... Did you get your bombs off? You didn't even get your bombs off. What are you doing? Okay, there was definitely some sort of anti-air over here. I don't know where it was exactly. Our cargo trucks have to keep running up and down. I mean, they must be super hurting when it comes to numbers. Because, I mean, I am... I am obviously... There's not many left of them, let's put it that way. But at the same time, I've lost a lot of dudes and a lot of vehicles. But then this was a like an aggressive push to try and get the zone captured before we have to deal with our reinforcements because then we would probably be in a lot more trouble. Let's get these helicopters all moving forward. We're getting some extra reinforcement points, which we desperately need. Uh, we are like, I'm kind of considering getting these LAVs just to use their M240s. No, that's maybe crazy. Let's not do that. But yeah, this was uh, maybe not my, this was maybe not the best episode in the series uh, when it comes to how I performed. I think I want to try to see if we can find anything out here. And then when we do, we're going to have a whole bunch of these tornadoes ready to roll either now or soon. There's some cargo trucks. I, mean, I don't really care about that. I'm just going to push up here with all those helicopters. The recon helicopters should be spotting stuff relatively s easily. I wish I had any helicopter-borne um, infantry. That would be great. Okay, let's deal with those vehicles that are approaching. We've actually repaired and replenished all those units over here. That's good. Super Hornet. Yeah, we got one of them. I'm looking over here. I see. I s okay, what's from like over here, I think? Okay, we're just wasting a whole bunch of our rockets on a single truck, but it is whatever. I think that's where it came from, though. That's where it looked where it came from. Get our missiles out. That's one. That's two. That should kill both of them. One and huge. Okay, bombs away. Yeah, it's definitely coming from right there. But, okay, we killed one unit. I wonder I wonder if we can bomb, like, I think it's this building. So we'll try that again. I mean, we could Q-move this, but this could be very risky. But at the same time, it's like the end of the campaign. So either I push hard and I get this W, or I don't push hard and then I don't get the W. Get you out of there. Yeah, it's definitely this building right there. I, I guessed right. Hmm, killing them slowly, not as fast as I would have wanted to. That's a CV down. I got to be careful about all the infantry that are here, though. Yeah, that's the ones I'm worried about. Uh, just because they'll spam you to death with, like, little machine guns and rifles. Okay, let's keep bombing here. And let's keep using... Let's keep using bombers. Let's keep using these helicopters just to push. I'm sure they're getting annoyed. Okay, he just ran over for nothing. I hate when they do that. I don't know why they just fly over. He, he does it again. Like, some of them bomb and some of them just refuse to. Weird. It's very annoying. I think some of these bombs went off, though. Well, that didn't really do anything for us. And again, he just, he just refuses to drop his bomb. What an idiot. All right, let's Q-move forward. So everyone just flies over to city and we just... Actually, let's fly down here and kill these BTRs. Well, like, to this corner. It should be fine. Okay, bombs away, finally. Finally, someone who's listening. Oh, some more Strela. Oh, they just got... Actually, I think that bomb landed on the Strela. That's actually very hilarious because that was not my... You know, I, I thought those guys were long gone. Bombs away. Kind of want to keep an eye on that if we can see if they... They're not firing. Yeah, there was no one there anymore. I mean, we, we did kill a whole bunch of them there earlier, so... There goes a whole of ATGMs. You just need one of them to hit, guys. There's four, there's five, there's seven. I think we just fired, like, nine ATGMs on a single BTR. We killed it, though, I guess, right? 28 points left. We have a lot of time left. I mean, I'm thinking we just start bombing random places again. This sounds very American, I guess, huh? Or Russian. 
There are, okay, if we kill those three cargo trucks, we win. I held the bomb. I actually... Why? Why do you not target the thing that I tell you to target? Okay, let's get you all back to base. Rearm. We know where we have to bomb to win. Hopefully it's going to be enough. It has to be a surrender. It has to be a retreat. It has to be a total... Uh, def oh my lord. Okay, you suck. Okay, turn around again. Waste your time. I mean, if this was a... You know, if you were trying to actually get bomb hits on something, then good luck with that. Hopefully we get one or two. Oh, we're so close to winning. Are you kidding? Well, at least we know where they are now. I'm also just getting all these guys back to base. I guess I could use my scout to maybe move forward. By the time I'm thinking he's going to move forward, our helicopter should all be ready to go. Although they are zucking out this. Uh, they are really getting all the supplies from this FOB. Eh, actually, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Q move. Bombing run one, bombing run two. We're going to just keep bombing running right in front of us. I mean, worst case scenario, they don't drop their... Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it. Why don't you drop your stupid bombs? Dude, they just did another run. Are they going to do it again? I mean, we know we can bomb in this forest, but I mean, like, come on. What the hell are you guys doing? Okay, he's finally dropping bombs. He finally dropped his bombs. That was very weird. They're at zero points exactly. We gotta just kill a single unit. Oh, we just we just did. We just did. I wonder if we won or not. Total victory, four thousand three hundred kills. We did lose. Oh, that's not good. But I think that was the end of the campaign, because I think we just ran through a total victory. I don't know if we can get any faster than what is it? Turn three? Oh, we, we won't see anymore. But that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed just a quick look at this because uh, I did this all in one day and I figured that was going to be very doable and I do look forward to doing more, which what I'm talking about is this. We're going to have a special, uh, yes, says China, but no, it's not. And the same one for this. I'm really excited to try these out. And I don't think I've ever finished Climb Mount Narutnaya or the Second Korean War in Ash and Shadow. So a lot of future content going to the channel very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.